Welcome to the Odyssey Delphix Data Masking Product Integration Demonstration. In this video, I'm going to show obfuscating sensitive elements originating from within PDF files. The file elements are sent to a file server by Odyssey, where the Delphix Continuous Compliance Server picks up the file and obfuscates the sensitive data elements within the file based on rules predefined within the Delphix masking engine. The Odyssey process will retrieve the file that has the obfuscated data and maps the data elements back into the PDF files. A PDF is just one example. Odyssey can read other formats as well, such as an image file, a driver's license, scanned in EDI files, and others. To begin the demonstration, I will go into Odyssey and launch the data masking workflow. For the sake of the demo, everything is being shown on a user interface, so you'll see me dragging and dropping files and clicking on buttons to get actions going. In normal operations, all of this can happen via automation in the background and in one fail swoop. I'll start the demo with a sample hard file. The hard file is a PDF standard HUD file with a lot of sensitive data elements. For example, you see the names Anderson and Elizabeth and various dates within this file. The demonstration will show the de-identification of the names as well as altering one of the date elements. The Delphix Continuous Compliance software allows data masking rules to be defined that include any or all of the elements of the file to be obfuscated or masked from the original content. I will drag this HUD file into the form. You can also view the workflow here, the PDF file rather. I click on Extract. Odyssey is extracting the data elements from the PDF file and loading the values into the workflow panel. You see the content in our workflow panel is the same content that we had shown you in the file earlier. You see the issuer ID package, the names, and dates. At this point, when I click on masking, the process will extract all this data into a CSV file for the Delphix compliance engine to process. In this example, we are using a CSV file. However, we can also load the values to a JSON, XML, or even a database table. We'll move from our incoming folder to our outgoing folder, and you can see the same file name, but with minimal size. Moving to the Continuous Compliance Engine, you will see we have predefined the file profile. In that profile, we see the inventory of the file elements. We have rules defined that will de-identify the two names and one of the dates that was on that PDF file. Moving back to the Environment tab, I will mask the CSV file by running the masking job defined for that file. We can monitor the job as it runs through the steps and we can even watch it in full motion as it processes the data. Once that job is completed, I go back to our file server and refresh our outgoing folder. You will notice that the transform has been completed and the HUD file now has data within the content. Odyssey Automation has retrieved the masked file from the outgoing folder. You'll see that the data that I plan to mask has indeed changed to fictitious data. You see Anderson is now Letitia. Similarly, Elizabeth is now Glendora, and you'll see that the date 1027 is now 1028, based on a simple date shift algorithm. Next, Odyssey will take this data and map it back to the original document. I click here to trigger that process and see that it is completed. I go back to the document so it downloads, and when I open it, you'll see the same hard file except the contents have been altered based on the changes Delphix made during the masking job. 
You say that the names that we intend to alter have been altered. The date has been altered, but all the other content remains the same, including the watermark. This is an example of Odyssey and Delphix working together to mask data in PDF files. Please contact your Delphix or Odyssey account representative if you would like to see other file types run through this process or if you would like to learn more about products. Thank you.